What's up? Mine and Christina's beautiful family in Yeshua HaMashiach, also known as Jesus Christ. Keep your heads up. He's at the door. And here's the verse of the day. And it's Romans 12.1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And I was planning on putting this video out yesterday. But I'm still sick, and yesterday I woke up with a pounding headache. And I was still going to do it, but our father had different plans. He wanted me to put it out today. So here I am. And yesterday's verse of the day was Psalms 9-1. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will shew forth all thy marvelous works. All glory to our father family in the Son, Jesus Christ. The name above every name for all his marvelous works and for you, family, and for Christina. And before I get into the signs in the sun, the moon, and in the stars, I was blessed. And Friday night, before I went to bed in prayer for the glory of the Father and the Son and for comforting, I asked Jesus Christ, to give me a rapture dream and to let me see Christina in my dreams. And I rarely remember my dreams. It's usually Christina that remembers the prophetic dreams. So I probably haven't had a dream that I could remember for over a year. And I woke up Saturday not remembering any dreams. So Saturday night, the second night, I prayed the same prayer and asked Jesus to show me Christina in a dream. Nothing. Then Sunday night, before I went to bed, the third night that I prayed that he would show me Christina in a dream, it happened, family. 3.45 a.m., I woke up Monday, and here's what happened in my dream. I was standing in the living room and I looked to my right and Christina was right there. And I said, Christina, excited as I always am when I see her. And she said, love her. And I looked to my left by the front door and there's three presents stacked by the front door, all wrapped exactly the same, real tight. Christina was like a professional rapper when it came to presents. None of them had a bow. None of them had a name tag. There was just three presents by the door, one small, medium, and large. And they were wrapped in blue and white wrapping paper. And I turned back to Christina and said, what are these gifts for? And she said to me, just grab them. We got to go. So we grabbed the presents and went out the door and I woke up. And the first thing that hit me is, wow, I was dreaming and I was so happy and excited that I got to see Christina and that Jesus Christ answered my prayers. So I started praising our father and giving him all the glory in Jesus Christ's name, Yeshua HaMashiach. And then it all started going through my head, the interpretations. And obviously, since there was presents and we're approaching Hanukkah and what they call Christmas, it made sense because of the timing. So I shared this dream with the brother and he reminded me and sent me this Hanukkah colors. Today's Hanukkah decorations carry on the tradition of the holiday's early American popularity in that they look just like Christmas decorations, but they're blue and white. The same colors as the presents by the door in my dream. And Christina usually has like four or five rolls of wrapping paper put away. So after the dream, I went into the closet to see what wrapping paper was there. And there was only one roll. And this was it. And it's gold and white. And it says, two hearts, one love, happily ever after. And after we're caught up, we'll live happily ever after forever, family. And I'll throw this in there. The menorah is gold. And on this picture that our brother sent me, 
There's also wrapping paper that's gold, blue, and white. So it's our Father comforting us. And if you remember, I've said it several times. I had a vision of 19, and I heard 19, the day of darkness. And Christina had another dream where 19 was tattooed on her shoulder. This was before COVID. So it was prophetic. And Christina and I, we never took the jab. We've never even taken a flu shot. Then Christina told you recently, right before she was diagnosed, she had a dream and she was pregnant. And God showed her this calendar and it was December 19th circled and it said your due date, December 19th. Well, here's why that is super gigantinormous. As you can see right here on Hebcow Converter, Chanaka day one will be December 19th, family. And Chanaka day seven will be December 25th. And when you click after sunset and you convert to Hebrew, and as you can see, December 25th, they call Christmas, is also Chanaka day eight, the last day. Now back to Hanukkah, day one, December 19th. Remember the signs Jesus Christ said will be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And on 11-8, this total blood moon eclipse, when the conjunction with the sun and Mercury went into the scale, those were major signs in the moon and in the sun and in the stars. And this cannot be denied. And it's right here, and it has to do with dividing the land of Israel. It's Comet C-2017 K-2. It made its closest approach, this comet made its closest approach to the Earth on July 14th this year. The very same day that Biden flew this bill over to Israel to divide the land, and he met with the president of Israel. Then October 25th, on the solar eclipse, the president of Israel flew to the White House and highlighted right here, the comet will be the closest to the sun several months later on December 19th, the very date that God showed Christina this calendar and it was circled and said that it was her due date. The very same day that Hanukkah starts this year. And last year, Hanukkah started on November 29th. It changes every year, family. This is super gigantinormous. And this wandering star, Mars, the red star, is right between the horns of the bull right now. And as you go through the days, you could see it going down. And right there, and I'll go through the hours. On December 7th, if you go through the hours, you could see the moon go right across what they call Mars. And on 12-8, they're lined up completely, perfectly on one of the horns. Now we'll track the moon all the way to Hanukkah, December 19th. And as you can see, when Hanukkah starts, the moon will be going down the woman headed for the scale. And when you move forward to the last day of Hanukkah, you can see the moon is lined up with Saturn, Mercury, Venus, the sun. And the signs are in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And as you can see, this is right now, today. And the moon is inside of what they call the sickle right next to what they call Regulus, the heart of the lion. And as you go through the days, you could see the moon go down the woman. It happens every month. And then the moon goes by the sun, Venus, Mercury, and a lot more. And as you keep going through the days, as I said, you can see it goes right back around. And on 12-8, the full moon, that's at 408, and in Strong's 408 means man of victory. 
The moon's right between the horns, the full moon. And as you approach Hanukkah, you could see the moon going down the woman. And it's right next to Spica, which stands for the wheat on December 18th. And December 19th, when Hanukkah starts, it's right between what they call the constellation Virgo and Libra. Now I'll take you to the sun. And when you zoom in, you can see that the sun just left the scale and is right next to what they call Mercury and Venus. And as you go through the days, you could see the moon just went by the sun on 1123. And the sun is right by these three heads of what they call the scorpion, the Scorpius constellation. And we'll keep moving ahead. And when you get to the day Hanukkah starts, the sun is right underneath the serpent bearer. And I'll wrap it up with this comet. 2017 K2, which is right by what they call Scorpius, is tail. And I've told you, Scorpius has three heads. They're right there. But scorpions don't have three heads. But you've seen many pictures of dragons with three heads. And we know that the dragon swings its tail and a third of the stars fall. So I'll take you through the days. As you can see, the comet is actually moving away from the tail. And on the full moon, it's directly under the tail. And I'll move forward to the first day of Hanukkah. And it's right there. And I showed you in the last video, three comets just hit the sun recently. And the signs will be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. He's at the door and he's coming, family. Keep your heads up and check your oil and make sure your lamp is burning brightly. And you already know this is hourly watch and I'm watching hourly. But I'm not trying to find the day of the rapture. That doesn't matter to me. What matters is what I do until the day of the rapture. And it doesn't matter to me the day because I know he's at the door and he's coming to get us.